I was stood there waving for ages before you got to me. How are you doing? It's six o'clock. It's time for a brand new one day special. It's the turn of pink frog, so we know we are in for a treat. Before I introduce the lovely Hazel in a few moments, or indeed your one day special, check out that price. My goodness, it's not often we see a one day special you can get for less than £15. So we're expecting it to be a busy one. So if you want to get hold of yours, the details are there already on the screen. Um, now, of course, mention Hazel, lovely Hazel's here. We were just having a chat and you were saying this is only the third release of stamps. Yep, third stamp launch. It feels as if Pink Frog have been doing stamps forever. It does, but it was just October. Wow. Doesn't time fly when you're having does. fun? <laughs> it certainly does. And this one day special, I love it because you've got little elements that are going to go long ways. Um, Absolutely. Gorgeous colours. Yeah. But also we've got a different size of cardstock from Pink Frog. We have the 21 by 30, which is a really popular size. Now you will get an instruction sheet for 10 folds to get okay. you started. So if you kind of look at this as like a starter kit for somebody or a present because you're going to get your instructions, you're going to get 15 sheets of cardstock in there, five green, five red and five super smooth. But then you're going to get your gorgeous stamp set, which has got 13 stamps on it. And that's Perfect. a mix from your roses. You've got that beautiful um, music background. Yes. It all just works so well together and I really love using it. Well, so. this is it. And I do urge you to jump ahead because it's not the only stamp set that we've got within the, um, these kind of hours or indeed the one day special shows but when you are having a little peruse check out because we've got another stamp set which i'll show you in a moment and that is 14 pounds and 95 pence for just the stamp by itself so on this occasion it's like you're paying that price for your stamp but you're getting your card stock included and as hazel quite rightly said there you've got your 15 sheets there now you've got your three um, different colors in there you've got that gorgeous true red the true green and of course that fabulous super smooth which i'll tell you about in a few moments and then of course the stamp set and they're really useful stamps these stamps, i love aren't they? using them there's so many things you can do just by pulling different bits and pieces in like your mask it and your miler you can create such masterpieces really good point. i've really enjoyed using them um, and classic stars i mean roses and that kind of um the, like you said the music script that yeah, you've got yeah. with this as well beautiful so um, to bring them all together now of course you've got all these gorgeous cards that we're going to share with you and these are some of those fancy folds aren't they with regards yep. to um, you'll learn how to create these because you'll get that insert alongside these that is beautiful so it could be valentine's it could be anniversary it could just be birthday it lends itself to everything really the classic rose well this is it and then you're using the super smooth now, i love the way that the the mats and the layers have been built up using that gorgeous screen but again your pastel tones with yep. these beautiful add as much or as little colour as you want use it to create your borders and your backgrounds use it on your watercolour card to spritz out and make some really interesting backgrounds too they heat embossed beautifully gorgeous and again of course you've got like your hero stamp there which you can be using yeah. but you've got your supportive stamps to work around the edge one of my favorite styles of stamp is to have kind of like a script or a music script that you've got and that's useful because it kind of says something but it doesn't course, say something yeah. at the same yeah. time absolutely brilliant now we are busy 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 for you one day special and i'm not surprised you can't stop you will know it's quality we're talking pink frog you're getting five repeats of each of those in that new size which is 21 by 30 centimeters slightly bigger than your a4 but you haven't got the complications of the the point three millimeters it all out doesn't <laughs> it, does. it and makes it easier which what is what is we it? want when we're cracking exactly. we just want to just score it down and away we go um, so. and there you go you can see obviously loads and loads of different ways we'll be talking about the different ways you can work with these um absolutely beauty and that gorgeous classic rose there as you can see i like this one though as well it's kind of a different look using it, yeah. um, kind of the foiled effect but, there as well and that's incorporating some of the stamps which is the next set coming up but they heat emboss beautifully as well it just gives a different look to it I love it. There you go. So that is your one day special. If you fancy getting hold of that, as many of you are, then 962066. Now, in this hour, we have got obviously the launch of the one day special, but we have another launch in this hour because we have a happy hour deal for you. Now, you'll be familiar with the kind of complexity of a happy hour. Yeah, you've got an hour to buy it basically at a discounted price. Now, my goodness. I'm not going to stand and hold this for long, but you are looking at your super smooth cardstock. You are getting a whopping great 160 sheets. It's 300 GSM, so it's absolutely perfect for your construction with regards to your, your, ba um, well, your bags, your boxes, your frames, absolutely, your card yeah. bases, any of your techniques. It's going to literally take anything that you throw at it. We'll be looking at some of the different things you can do with this. But Hazel, I mean, this is brilliant value. And it's a great time to stock up just before that Christmas break. You know you're going to 
to get it in time mm -hmm. for Christmas and then you've got everything that you need around you to play well, this is whilst it. you're off. So yeah. Perfect. You can see you've got an eight pound saving now. I'm just going to pop this down for a moment because basically my poor little arms are, <laughs> yeah, they're aching. And I'm going to pick up some of the boards because this is the thing that I love. Mm -hmm. You guys bring us these boards which illustrate the variety. There's a whole host of different techniques you can use these with. Um, now talk us around some of these, Hazel. Do you know what? The, the good thing about the boards, it's the visual because it's all, it's all good me standing again. Oh, you can stamp on it, you can ink on it. But when you visually see it, it, it just yeah. kind of sinks in, doesn't it? it so does. we've got on there heat embossing we've got your die cutting there just embossing your normal standard embossing folders and um, if you like inking in them you can do your letter press techniques there you've got your construction with your frames and um, doodling perfect for doodling on there um, and then you can scrumple up your card and I ink it and, and it just it's amazing it looks like leather and it just adds real texture to your backgrounds um, I and, love it. and this is another one that when you're using your stencils mm -hmm. not a regular embossing folder where you kind of got your positive and your yeah, negative yeah. you need to have a good card to pick out that yeah. detail yeah love it love it love it so that's just a little idea lots of you adding that some happy hour deal into your basket doing these individually because they're very heavy <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk about techniques now and this is things that we love to kind of change the color of the card of stock. course we do yeah so on there you have got like um oxide inks onto the card you've got paints you've got blending You've got um, oxides with water, uh, like dripping. So I'm guessing with the nature of these, if you are using where there's a lot of fluid involved, you don't have to worry. Your no, cardstock is still the only work thing with it. that I would say is if you're watercolouring and you're going in with a paintbrush, don't over agitate it because it will bubble because it's not yeah. a watercolour card. Okay. But if you're just flashing over, it's absolutely fine. And if you do need your watercolour cardstock, don't worry, we have got a fabulous deal with regards to that as well. But as you can see there, for those regular techniques that we see, don't go anywhere. It's another board, yeah. I hope you're sitting comfortably. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot to show you. You can do a lot of, card, a lot of things, this card. Um, so here you go. So more of those fabulous techniques that we like to use. I mean, putting a base down with your gesso, absolutely perfect. Really, really effective. And then you've got your texture pastes on there. Um, also, going through embossing folder with your gilding waxes. Isn't that effective? Just moving so along. effective. Yeah. Whether you're using your stencils, stencils. Um, you were talking about your watercolour pencils, as long as you're not applying too much water. As Correct, Hazel it will said. still pull it out and yeah. it will still move that colour. So, yeah. excellent for your alcohol markers. Perfect. A real good smooth cardstock for that. I so, love yeah. It. So, a nice go to. Yes. You're going to have to go to get it quickly <laughs> because 10% of the stock has gone of that already. So, that's your happy hour deal. 163,300 GSM sheets. For a whopping great price there, as you can see, it's a phenomenal price, £13.98, and, and you can add that in alongside your one-day special details at the bottom of your screen. We are busy for that as well. Now, don't check out your basket without having a look at some of the other items that we've got. Either stay with me or look on the website because we've got some phenomenal deals. And we've got a brand new set of stamps as well that's going to be perfect for your backgrounds. I love these, that distressed look that we Absolutely. try to achieve yes. time and time again. These are going to help us. These are a great add-on and they're going to just complement whatever you're, whatever you're doing, whether it's stamping with flowers or whatever. If you like making frames as much as I do, they look amazing stamped onto frames. But you can, they join up. So on the board that you've got there, you'll notice it's bigger than A7. Each piece is bigger than A7 yes, because I've joined yeah. it two or three times just so that you can see that you can extend your pattern out but how it's effective there, yeah. yeah and adding two or three colors in there or spritzing a bit of water um the kind of wavy one that's got glossy accents in and i love doing that because it, it kind of interferes with the color and yes. it changes it underneath and it really just pops it magnifies out magnifies things yeah. doesn't it that, that yeah. glossy accents and there you go you can see obviously those frames that we love to see hazel put together for us there showing you how you can use that amazing cardstock and of course those texture stamps again use them with the one day special yeah it, they just work don't they that's kind of like a peeled painty kind of look that one mm -hmm. i like that Love it, love it, love it. That's, and in here, just a simple strip there. And Very do you know effective. what? The size of the card that you've got there, that is using one of the 21 by 30s that you get in the pack. But you cut it in half lengthways, so that gives you an A6 tent fold oh, okay. or an A6 landscape. But so it's is that just like a, a two for them. Yeah, a two, two for, for one. That's exactly. That'll be That's my Julia, first demo. Julia two Watts for. taught me that one. A two <laughs> for a two for one. And again here, just loads and loads of examples. Look how nice that, that, that matches up there using the background, Beautiful. the textures with the the Love rose. It.
Love it, love it, love it. And again, just £14.95. Um, so affordable, these prices in this hour. So if you fancy getting hold of those at 941170. One more thing that I want to share with you before we go and have a look at the twofer. Okay. Um, and that's your watercolour <laughs> cardstock, because the sheer mention of the name, and it's gone crazy. So with this one, if you are looking at doing your water techniques or bringing in more moisture, then this is the bundle for you. But please, please, please look at the price. You are saving £16 on this. This is an hour to stock up on your basics one day special I mean it's a brilliant one with the stamp set but of course you could go for multiples of those or you can with any of these and this one here the watercolour cardstock is definitely one to bulk buy on um, 80 sheets you're getting for £15.99 and, and please 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 during this hour become a freedom member because with this one it's a weighty bundle that's going to be sent to you hence your post and packing of £4.95 but just for an extra pound you are going to be able to become a freedom member and that means you can add anything else in and you won't have any additional post Post and packing on any of your orders for the next month, let alone this hour. And when you're seeing prices like this, if you're paying £14.95, you don't want to be paying an extra fiver for your post and packing to take advantage of that deal. Doesn't make sense, does it? Website's the place to go because that's where you'll find all the goodies we've been talking about. You'll also be able to check out your order online, get that order on the system super speedy, and become a Freedom member at the same time. But of course, if you do want to give us a call, you can do 01733 602 thousand. There's lots of bars bargains and savings to be had now oh this one's caught our emily's eye oh got oh the ice gold <gasps> no way 14.99 for 300 sheets my goodness that is phenomenal. Just fly when we bring that one on because you can do so much with it. I love inking onto it and Is that spraying. the one that makes it look like your ink's metallic when Absolutely, you stamp on it? Absolutely, yeah. Oh, and wow. so it, it still shines through yeah. with the ink and it just looks amazing. Love it. And if you fancy adding that one in, then of course you can do. If your order starts getting to that £60 threshold, don't forget you can spread the cost over two payments. So it really is kind of one of those craft pantry filler shows, I would like to call it. And loads of five-star reviews, so check those out as you go as well. So, Hazel, two first. How do we get a two for out of one of these sheets? Okay, so one of the 21 by 30s out of the pack, I'm just going to pop that into my trimmer and I'm going to cut it, because it's 21 across, I'm going to cut it at 10 and a half centimetres. So I'm just going to line it up and cut that down. So that gives us two pieces exactly the same. If we bring our board in, that is just going to, on the centimetre side, if you don't have a board, then you could just use a ruler and... Um, a, a score tool okay so halfway point nice and simple will be 15 centimeters and that's where it gets tricky with an a4 sheet because it's not an exact exactly figure thing. yeah it's kind of like 29.7 millimeters that's or something it, like yeah. that so you, to make it halfway point you've got to chop part of that off to start with you, i always found myself cutting it down to 29 centimeters and scoring at 14 and a half yeah. but, but that half a centimeter it. does make a difference yeah. so um, and then because you're on a half a centimetre, it's half to do the, the, the yeah, four and folds. Yeah, and layers, yeah. and it all gets very complicated. So that would be my two cards. Okay. I've got, um, I'm going to do one as a tent fold and one as a landscape. Lovely. But to accompany that, I'm going to take one of the super smooth 180 GSM um, insert paper sheets. So it's just really nice to do an insert. So I would do this the same way. Okay. I've cut it at 10 and a half and I have got some done, but it's it's just the, in fact, I'm going to take that down to 10. Okay. So the only difference between this is the actual weight. We're looking at 180 GSM rather yeah. than 300. And then I would just cut that down to 14 and a half. Just so that when I go inside my card, if I bring this in for oh, you, I see. Yeah, it just I've sits just nicely. got that little bit. Do you know what I mean? And I yeah. just think that insert makes such a difference yeah. to a to a small card. Mm -hmm. It just makes it look more expensive. Lovely. So I'm going to move that out of the way because I have done two of those ready. So I've got them to the side. So for the first one, which one shall I start with? Let's start with the rose. Um, we're going to go. We're going to need this stamp here. And I'm going to take, just going to pop that on a block for, no, in fact, sorry, That's okay. confused. 
We'll um, have the one with the little leaves around. Now, obviously, we just saw um, you using the super smooth paper for your insert, but it has gone crazy for that ice um, ice gold paper as yes. well. So, of course, either of they those are you both. Could use. If you like pearlescent inserts, mm -hmm. then that's the one to go for. Yeah. But if you like doing all of your techniques on the super smooth, it's nice to have a lighter weight one to yeah. go with. So it just depends what you, you prefer. And you don't want that shimmer, do you? you want to kind of use Correct. it in different ways. Yeah. So not a bad idea going for both of them, to be honest. At 14 99 would make sense too, wouldn't it? <laughs> right, so what I've got here is, um, these are our masket sheets. So it's a, a tacky sheet that comes on a piece of acetate. Oh, okay. And when you're stamping, um, I find them a must. Right. So what all you would do is stamp up, ink up your stamp, and then you would stamp down. I'm going to be tight and use as little of it as I can, look. Okay, yeah. So you'd stamp into there, and then you would grab some scissors. I'm not going to cut it out. <laughs> Because no, I've got one done you on there. But pretend. you'd go round, go. I'm just going <laughs> to cut the section out, look. Now, Charmaine was talking earlier on, and she was saying one of the first things that she does whenever she gets stamps is to make masks. 100%. So useful to it's, have. Yeah, and all I've got here then, so this is just a thick sheet of acetate that I've gone through and I've made the most popular ones that I use all the time. So it's this one here that I need with the leaves on. So I'm just going to carefully peel that off and I'm going to position on the card where I would like it. So I'm going to go about there. Um, for 9 99 you are getting 10 of those masket sheets. And as you can see there, you only use the tiniest amount and you can reuse it over and over again. So that's the beauty of this. So it is worth adding this one into your basket as well. So I just thought I'd keep it really nice and simple for the first um, couple of demos okay. because it's just nice not to overdo it. No, you know, like we, we we'll sometimes want just simple. Now you're moving from the centre of that design outwards? Absolutely, and I'm using a blending, you see I'm so used to going for these. I have got my brushes as well, okay. um, and, and they just work great too. So I'm just shading a little bit of blue around mm -hmm. there, now that's Blueprint Sketch. And then I'm going to come in to our, I, do you know, I thought I could see something dangling. Let me just <laughs> take that off because I've, I've caught it on something, Aww. so I'll come back to that. This is the music notes. I absolutely love this. This looks, if you don't mind me saying, this looks like you've used it a fair bit, Hazel. Yes, it does. <laughs> it, do you know, it's just one of them that I just keep going for, like the script in the yeah. poppy set. It's one you never put away, yeah. really, isn't it? And I've just kept it on the acetate from the sheet. I've just cut it down so that, you know, like when you portion stamp and yes. your fingers get all over the back, you kind of lose your stick a little bit yeah. and it's it's really annoying having to scrub them and mm. trying to get the stick. So I keep the acetate on there. Okay. Um, there's You can tell which is the top and the bottom because there's a few little dots up there. Right. Um, and I'm just going to lay that over and I'm just going to press down just to give me a rough bit of notes in the background there. And it's nice because like so. on that stamp you haven't got a harsh edge to that script either. No, but, yeah. and again, I didn't ink right up to the outside because I didn't want to have a, do you know and what I mean? Block, if I'd have inked yeah. all up, but I kept my fingers in the middle there. Um, right, so, do you know what? I knew I'd do something. <laughs> what I meant to do <laughs> was well, stamp must, the rose first. I must admit, I did want <laughs> <laughs> did it that way round, but equally so, it would it work matter. the other way round as well, wouldn't it? It's just <coughs> horses for courses. Absolutely. So we'll just peel that away. <laughs> nice. You see, that looks yeah, nice like that, it, doesn't yeah. it? I'll stick that back on my sheet, and then I will position this. Lovely. And there you go, just find one error. And it does show you that whichever way you work with this, there's always, always more than one way, isn't there? That's the key thing. So you just find your comfortable way with those. But there you go, look, that's perfect. So I've got a little bit of a halo. And Have this you? is how you would get, get by it. Okay. You see, I'm too honest. You probably can't I've see it, but I can. And it's going to niggle me. So okay. th th that's going <laughs> back on. Um, and I'm just going to go in, and I will need to use my blender for this. Okay. And I'm just going to scuff that out. Oh, I see, yeah. And that is just going to repair <laughs> because it's excitement. Oh, You're all with me. You know what you know. You know <laughs> yeah, what it's yeah. like. We've been there. You get yeah, some, uh, there we go. Now it's Spot nice on. and crisp. So from there, I'm going to place some of the blueprint sketch down and a little bit of evergreen. Yeah, evergreen bow. One of my favourites. Okay. And I'm going to go directly on now. I always say this when I come on, I am not 
the best colourist in the world. Okay. But so long as I'm happy and I think it looks quite nice at the end, then that's that's good for me. Well, the thing is, it's having a good stamped image, isn't it, to start of with? One that gives you the confidence, first of all, to actually have a go. Yeah. Um, because I think with these, whichever way, whatever result you get with them, I think it's going to look fabulous because of the image that you stamped. Yeah. So I'm just quickly going in. I'm not spending too much time on there. I'm getting a layer down and then I can go in and add darker tones. And you'll notice uh, the card isn't peeling because I'm not over wetting it. Mm -hmm. and it's nice as well to see you keeping quite a limited palette of colours because when we all get started, and we were saying that the one day special is ideal for new crafters, that you don't necessarily have a huge course, rainbow no. of different ink pads. So just a couple of ink pads and of course the black one there for your outline edge, then uh, yeah, that's all you pretty much need. And all, I mean, I'm not sure that I've seen many blue roses, but again, I just wanted to come in just to show they don't have to be red they can be whatever color you fancy and they just look really effective they look really beautiful in lemon as well oh yes nice fresh so then i'm just going in and adding another layer of just a little bit of dark around in those centers there i think most flowers you can get in most colors as well if you buy them from a florist because they kind of put a dye in the, the water don't they and it draws it up through the stem sometimes and changes yeah. the color of the petals the, like you told. can get the two-tone ones as well yeah. can't you that are like um you've got the lovely crimply yeah, edges it's crafter's license as well there we go right so I'm happy with that. Lovely. All I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in my platform this time. And I'm just going to, I knew that that would happen. <laughs> I'm going to layer that down. And I'm going to use <clears throat> with love. So I am going to take full advantage of my grid sheet. So the sentiment, does this come in the one day special set Now well? this is actually one of the sentiments from our pick and mix sets. Oh uh, right. So this oh, will be decorative you, sunflowers but I absolutely love the fonts on these and I just, I wanted it to be a statement so I've just gone and I'm mixing and matching and that's the beauty of the stamp sets, they do all mix and match beautifully. So again we'll just use a little bit. It doesn't need a lot of pressure mm -hmm. and that's perfect. Lovely. So we were just, and the good thing about this, I did have, oh, there it is. You can just add a touch. Do you know, I knew I'd forget some ink. I know what I've forgotten. I haven't spotted it, whatever it is. Well, they, they go on your face. <laughs> Oh, you're glad. Yeah. Oh, is this the point? They're in the car. <laughs> They're in the car. I oh, know no. they are. I'll get them for the next one. Okay. Right. So you can add in a little bit of colour at the bottom of those and it just looks like you've really shaded it. So keeping that nice and simple, I'm just going to get one of the paper inserts and all I'm going to do, I'm just going to open that out, <laughs> turn it back. We'll turn it inside out because I've got inky fingers. And I'm going to pin that in place. And also on one of the sets in the pick and mix, there's the floral verses set. And this has got some lovely verses on. So we're going to have one of those. We're just going to pop that in, in the middle. We'll take our with love off. That's where I was getting the inky fingers from. Mm -hmm. And then we'll ink that one up. And pop that down. And then just to tie a bit of the outside in, that's that way around, I'm just going to add a little bit, because it's, it's left on the stamp, so I'm just going to add a little bit of the note in, and then I'm going to grab, I'm just going to see if there's any ink left note, so I'm going to pop a second generation on here. And I'm going to I'm going to take advantage of my sheet that's here okay. and, and just do a little one in that corner. And I actually just want a little bit in there. Oh, so lovely. that just ties in really nice. We'll just move that platform out the way. And I'm just looking for, oh, I've got it out. There we go. A little bit of tape on there. Pop that inside. And then just line that up. So I like to just make sure I've got them equal borders. Pop that over. And that gives you a real quick, simple 
That is so effective. Yeah. That is amazing. Now I'm going to do a very quick recap. I yeah. know you're going to go straight into your next go in demonstration for the once I yeah. come back to you, but I need to give you an update. We have been so, so busy, um, not just for the one day special, the details of which are on your screen, but what you have got is that fabulous cardstock that we've just seen Hazel working with. So you've got your true red, you've got your true green in this, and you've got that gorgeous, super smooth cardstock as well. £14.95 is your price with regards to this one, but you're also getting that stamp plate. Now the stamps themselves from Pink Frog, you'd normally be looking at paying £14.95 and 95 pence for these in their own right so working on that scenario what that means is your cardstock is coming as a bit of a bonus and what an amazing bonus you're getting 15 sheets you're getting five repeats of your true green five repeats of your true true red and of course that gorgeous super smooth so this is a nice set if you're wanting to perhaps try out that super smooth to be honest when you go for it you will wish you've gone for a happy hour as well though and i'll explain why in just a few moments but the details are there on your screen if you're wanting your one day special please do be aware that 20% of the stock has gone. Now 962066, that is the item number. There's nothing stopping you going for multiples of these because of course sometimes when you're working with your stamps it's nice to have more than one set because of course you might be doing positioning and rather than replacing the stamp and moving it to another area you can use two at the same time. So I would imagine that lots of you will be going for multiples of these and then even so if you're wanting to keep the cardstock yourself for your set from your second set you could actually gift the stamps to somebody else couldn't you as a Christmas gift because as I say there you can see £14.95 is the price that you would usually pay for those as well just to give you a little idea of a couple of different ways that they have been used obviously Hazel just showed us that um, version with a lovely blue rose thought it was very effective but what about multicolour roses nothing stopping you doing that either and of course a wonderful uh, background has been created by, with one of the other stamp sets that we've got coming up in a little while um, of course the quality of the stamps means that you can heat emboss them if you're wanting to so of course you can get your heat embossing powders involved add your colors especially with that super smooth cardstock or even if you're using the true red it saves you adding the color yourself um, and of course in the backdrop there you can see that gorgeous music script hazel touched on yellow roses as well there you go for different variation and of course whichever way you are working with these you know that you are buying quality with regards to those so if you're wanting your one day special the details are there on your screen 962066 but very quickly before we go back to Hazel, can I please tell you about the happy hour deal? It has been flying out. I was thinking, now where have I put it? How could I lose it? How could I lose it, to be fair? I mean, look at this. That is incredible. I, I, I'm just thinking, look, the comparison of what, it's like a couple of bags of potatoes, the weight of this. It's huge. It's actually, a, it's a ream box. It'll come to you in, in, in a brown cardboard ream box. Oh, that's nice for yeah. storing it and keeping exactly. it Exactly, yeah. You can just label up the front, pop it on your shelf, and it's there to grab it whenever you need it. Now, with this, I mean, it's a weighty cardstock. You're looking at 300 GSM. Perfect for your card bases, perfect for those construction folds that you might be putting in. And even more so, if you are creating anything with an aperture, if you're cutting any areas away, works out at a little over nine pence per sheet. Oh, a little under nine pence per sheet. That's even better. So if you are making your cards to sell, then the key thing is, then, yeah, by all means, go for multiples of these. Special occasions coming up. Maybe you've got weddings coming up next year or the year after and you're thinking about invitations. Then please, please, please make sure you're getting hold of that at that price while you've got the opportunity. This is going to go up in price. You've got the clock on your screen there. That's what you need to keep an eye on because when we do get to 7 o'clock, the price will go up by £8. So please stock up on that when you've got the opportunity. Now, of course, Hazel was working on the card stock that we've got within the one day special. She was doing a two for making two cards out of one sheet. So we get to see that second card. So Hazel, back over to you. OK, so the other one, we're going to do um, landscape. And what I've done is I've just got some of my scotch tape, which I do find really handy. And I've just stuck it across because I want that area to stay completely white when I finished inking. Um, this time I'm opting for festive berries. Lovely. And I'm just going to add a nice soft little bit of ink. And it's just so that you can see when I pull the tape away, you can see that real crisp strip going across. So Wonderful. To always taking off that excess there because I just do want it just to be soft. But I am going to bring it up a little bit. So I've added a little bit of colour down there. And this time I'm going to use the single rose, so there's um, with no leaves on it. So I've just popped that to a block there, and um, I'm also going to use the um, 
yes, that one, the background, the music. <laughs> so the music notes. I'll probably use this on every demo, <laughs> to be fair. Well, it's a nice one to yeah. use. Um, so again, I'm just going to pop that first. Um, although it looks like I'm going to stamp it all, I'm just going to kind of press in portion of it. Okay. So I'm just getting little bits and I'm going to move it around and just get... It doesn't matter if it over stamps or anything like that. It's just building up a quick background. Lovely. So that's that one. And then we'll come on to the rose stamp. So give it a nice ink up. Now I am using the Versa Claire, which means I can do my watercolour. So if I stamp this up and go over the, the tape just a touch, that's going to give me a nice image in that corner. And then I'm just going to pop a couple in the top corner as well. So you can rotate it around so it's not quite so uniform. That's a good point, yeah. Um, and I'm just going to put two and the reason being is because um, it's going to be less for me to colour in. <laughs> <laughs> I like your style. I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> so um, if I just bring this into play you can see I've got like four up there and one. There isn't any rules, it's mm -hmm. just what you prefer. So we've just got two on this one. So if I take this away Oh wow, You've got that look at that beautiful crisp line. Crisp line. That's that scotch tape. Yeah, now don't chuck it away because you can use a baby wipe and then a piece of tissue. Oh, me Now that is perfect and still really sticky. Stick it on my machine and I'll be reusing that. I love it. Now that scotch tape, we have got the details on the screen as you can see, 13 99 You're getting two boxes of those. Brilliant value for me. Don't often see this here at a Chanda, so do take advantage while you've got your chance. Um, and it is a useful one, as you saw there. Didn't pull away the cardstock or anything like that, but it left that lovely crisp edge there. Wonderful for positioning your dies as well on elements. And at $13.99, coming in a little box, nice little storage box there for it as well. 999217. Um, incidentally, in this show, if you have just joined us, you've tuned in at a brilliant time. Nothing on this show is going to cost you any more than £16. £15.99 is the most expensive item on this hour so this is definitely an hour to be a freedom member so do check that out at the same time as checking out your baskets come on hazel so i'm I've, on my car i'm <laughs> spit it out, <laughs> spit it out girl. <laughs> on this one i've used best wishes from um, one of our other sets because i really do like tying them together okay on the set on the rose set you do get happy anniversary and birthday so mm -hmm. you can you can mix and match and you also get congratulations so i think for this one maybe it's just a little congratulations so just to show you that these work beautifully as well and i love the delicate font on this so i'm just lining that up that and then nicely in like scotch tape area doesn't yeah. it yeah um, it, it just it just keeps everything thinner as well yeah. you've not got layers so just stamp that down. I mean, look how beautiful and crisp that has stamped fetish. out. So um, a quick wipe and pop that away. And then all I'm going to do is just move that to the side and then we'll come in with our water brush um, and start adding, adding the colour in here. So again, if you need to take off ink in between, mm -hmm. just so that you get it lighter, you can do that and um, you can squeeze some water out and water it down it really is up to you but towards the end of the petals i like to keep them a little bit lighter and go darker in the middle it doesn't even matter if you've got a few of um little white bits showing because true, yeah. there isn't any rules but this so. is so achievable for anybody that's just getting started with the card making then yeah, as Hazel's showing you here, you don't need a huge amount of stash. You just need good quality basics to ensure that you are going to get those results. And in turn, you'll be building your confidence and enjoying the craft even more so. And I just love this. Just using a simple ink pad there. Just well, two ink pads being used in here. Obviously, um, you've got your VersaFine um, that you've used for creating your, your stamped image there, your, your black outline and your sentiments. But then um, something like an oxide or a distress um, you could potentially be using as well um, to stamp up the the background and pull that colour in. 
It's amazing. Would be great for, like you say, um, at the price, little stocking fillers. Yes. If you've got your little crafty friend and you're like, oh, what can I get them? It's something new or if they're new, new, new to crafting, then like you say, you've, they've got that perfect little starter kit and to get them. it's a nice them. one. I mean, maybe you've got nieces, nephews, grandchildren that do like to come round to your house and do a little bit of crafting. Um, obviously, if you're all in the same bubble together, but they, they like their own crafting goodies. And quite often, children don't want children's craft products. They want no. to be crafting with grown-up stuff. I know my girls didn't when they were younger. Yeah. <laughs> they like to sit and copy what I was doing. Yes. Okay. So I've added some colour to my roses there and then I've got a little insert to go in. So I'm just going to pop that up there. Lovely. Bring are you working platform. with the super smooth paper again or are you going to go for the ice wipes? It's super smooth again because Lovely. it's basically, it's just two sheets of card, well one sheet of oh, card of course, and one sheet yes, of paper. you use the other half on the other yeah. card, yeah. I'm actually just going to fold that back on itself so that I can keep that nice and tight into there. Okay. And I'm going to use a different sentiment this time. Now where is that? <laughs> That was lucky. <laughs> I've got a little bit of ink left on here. So again, I'm just going to add a little bit down. That'll do. And then we'll find ourselves a little um, sentiment. Now, my verses, because I've put congratulations on there, I don't think any of these verses are going to... Oh, uh, yeah, we'll add this one. With love and best wishes on your special day. That oh, will that's work nice, perfect. Yeah, congratulations. That will, any yeah, kind it of covers day, any occasion. Yeah. So I'm just going to pop that down. And then we'll just stamp that one in. In fact, looking at that, it looks wonky. Am I straight? Yeah, it looks okay. I'll soon yeah. find out when I put it down. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, that looks okay. Happy with that. It? And then we'll go to the little rose. And again, I don't want this, I just want this in the background. So I'm going to take off that first print and maybe just have a few on that corner and that is going to give me pop a bit of tape down there move that to the side that's going to give me my second card I'll bring that one in as well so very achievable not a lot of time not a lot of effort we've, we've just kept it simple with a couple of inks but one sheet of card and one sheet of super smooth insert paper. As they say, one sheet does plenty. Absolutely. I had to get that pun in there. Thank <laughs> you for that, Emily. Um, and now lots of other products going into your um, baskets. What are you popping in? Well, you're popping in this fabulous poppy set. Lots of peas in that sentence, wasn't there? Um, now, your poppy stamp, again, beautiful quality. Similar sort of scenario to the rose that we saw. So you've got the gorgeous poppies in a variety of different kind of formations, but then you've got your background stamp that comes with it. You're not having to buy a different set. It's included within that. So you get 10 stamps within that sheet. And you can see there, you've got lots of different elements there, as you can see. So sorry with sympathy. Um, beautiful, in keeping with the poppy, the poppy, the symbol of remembrance really um, as well. And it's just nice and thoughtful to actually put that with sympathy alongside the poppy. I love poppies anyway. I mean, they're such a beautiful flower. And you can see that gorgeous true red cardstock that comes alongside it is a brilliant combination. 290 GSM, so again, absolutely perfect for your construction of your card bases. You can see the little box for feature in there as well because you can use it for that but have a look at this just taking those two elements the stamp and that gorgeous red cardstock putting them together and there you go now of course you can see that gorgeous glossy finish we have got a fabulous bundle of glossy accents that you might like to add in alongside and it gives it that kind of tiled almost ceramic look to your dies um, or your die cuts should I say to give it that lovely almost enamel look this is a pretty little one as well so here you've got that fabulous little card there with the circle on the front there, but opening up a little bit like a gatefold, but again, using your poppy seed um, pods there. But again, that red card start coming back in time and time again teaming it up with the black cardstock and if you are looking for the black cardstock we have got a lovely bundle where you've got your red your black your green and it's a nice little selection bundle I might show you that one a little bit later on um, and there you go blue poppies we saw blue roses earlier on so why can't we have blue poppies well we we can if you want so 441 at 936 if you fancy getting hold of that set just 14 pounds and 95 pence now 
This is brilliant. We're looking at mylar now. Now, mylar traditionally is used for creating stencils, but I must admit, when I looked at this, I thought, oh, these are a bit brilliant as blending mats because you've got six of these, yeah, six of them for £11.99. Now, it's not the most exciting as, um, to look at there. Can I pick it up and show you? I mean, it's lovely, shiny and very smooth, but this is a really good size. And mylar, I mean, it's one of those uh, mediums that lots of people will cut with their electronic die cutting machines, 12 by 12 per perfect for that yeah. you can put, cut it with your regular dies as well though you can't can you? there's a board just to your left oh that's it okay now so, do you know what i thought this was go on. i thought this was a stencil we've got available to buy on the show <laughs> that shows you the yeah. quality yeah that so shows that, you the quality it, yeah. it's 350 micron okay so through your electronic cutting machine through your manual cutting machine i don't think it's, I think it's too thick to go through the electronic ones. Okay. The, um, Sometimes it's the density yes, as much yeah. as anything. But yeah. for simple shapes, which you yeah. can use time and time again, and they're going to tie in with your cards, like that simple star card that's up yeah. there, or the one with the little balloons on, it just works amazing. And it ties in with your mask kit, so you can... I just love using it Use all it together. It's just one ways. of them staples. And when you get it, and you're, it, it works out 50p a stencil. Yeah. Yeah, you can't get value. cheaper than that, can you? Exactly. <laughs> and yeah, your steel rule dies, if you're working with those, or your um, mixed media style um, dies, your thicker dies, I don't think you'll have any issue with these. Obviously, the more complex the design, more intricate, then of course, the more stress you're putting on your mylar. But as Hazel quite rightly said, and with the stars there we saw a few moments ago, again, I think you're going to have uh, brilliant results with those. And as she said as well there, with your electronic die cutting machine, I always liken it to feathers and concrete. You can mm. have a block of concrete, concrete that's an inch thick and you can have a block of feathers that are an inch thick yeah. but one is much easier to cut than course, the other yes. and that's one of the things that you have yeah. to think of with your electronic die cutting machine so yeah just kind of err on the side of caution when you are using that but if you're using your steel rule dies then yeah go for it six sheets 12 by 12 and brilliant if you do want to use them as a blending mat as well 11.99 for those and i'll see if i can get that back in place without it springing off no it's going to go i just know it's going to go <laughs> perfect Is look it? There you go. Yay. We got it. Yay. Thank you. Now, what else can I tell you about? Oh, my goodness. Now, let me tell you about this. Now, this is that new size that we're being getting more and more familiar with, 21 centimetres wide by 30 centimetres long. And we are looking at the brilliant super smooth card. Now, um, 80 sheets this time we're looking at with regards to this one, £10.99. And again, we've seen the benefits of working with this, Hazel. Absolutely. So we've been asked time and time again to have a bumper pack in white because when we introduced it we did it um, 25 super smooth and 25 true black which is oh, brilliant okay. and it gets people started but then they loved it and they wanted the bumper pack so that's why it's come in today and that's why it's new in Love with it. the 80 sheets. And all your fancy folds as well Of course you'll it? get your sheet as normal like we always do and it'll have your 10 folds on there and it just means that you haven't got to work it out it's all it's all on the sheet it for you. It makes it nice and easy and of course when you get that um, work through sheet it will explain it fully and you'll understand why that extra few mil does make a difference with your car stock. So 553 999 if you fancy getting hold of that 1099 and you can get multiples of those. Now talking about kind of little mix Textures and trying things out. I think this is a really nice set to go for. You've got five different types of cardstock featuring within here, different colourways, different styles of cardstock, and this is a really good one. Now we are looking at A4 with regards to this one, but you've got your true red in there, your true green that we've seen within the one-day special. But of course, you are getting your watercolour in there as well as your super smooth and your black. Again, a lovely selection pack. I would consider, again, if you gave the one day special as a gift for somebody, to add this in Absolutely, as well. Absolutely, yeah. Because you've got but everything you need. Exactly. Then. So, obviously, red and green tie in with roses, mm -hmm. but they also, you're, they're going to be colours that you're going to go through, keep coming back to yeah. all, all year. And it's a great way if, if somebody hasn't tried our cardstock for trialling each of the different sorts that we do with it being 10 of each so well, it just it. works really really well i think the only one that we've not looked at closely is the watercolor card yeah. and this is the one that's got a little bit of a tooth on there. it has got a little bit of a tooth but the the ink it, it reacts differently to the super yes, smooth yeah. so you get a real nice bleed on it and when you're stamping onto it i did have a little board let me see if i can find it here we go 
Look at so you're going to get obviously your watercolour cards. I'm going to take a sheet of these out so we can keep them at the back. Obviously, you're going to get your red and your green that we've seen within the one day special, your super smooth feature in there. But it's that true black as well. Um, this is one that's always a popular one because so often we're matting and layering and using black. Anything that's got your mica powders in, they always look so amazing when you put them onto black cardstock as well. So it's a really nice selection bundle to have the true green. Again, you've got green on both sides. Um, green right the way through, no white core with any of these and of course that fabulous red as you can see there as well um 13.99 my goodness where's the time gone we've only got about 10 minutes left wow. how did that happen details on the screen if you're wanting that bumper bundle there um very very quickly the ice gold this is one that's been a very popular one during this hour as well and of course this is the one where you've got it that you can use it for your insert paper and you will see there you've got that gorgeous shimmer and sheen with this one lovely one to stamp on lovely one to put through your inkjet and your laser printers as well um and at 14.99 for 300 sheets you could use this in the same way as you were using the, the super smooth for the insert yes absolutely definitely and they the sprays look beautiful on them as well lovely so. there you go so if you fancy having a go with this one i'm sure hazel will use it over the next 24 hours maybe not in this hour because we've not got a lot of time left to be honest but some other things that you might like to add into your basket are the red liner tape now when you're buying the pink frog red liner tape you need to bear in mind that on each one of those rolls there you have got 30 meters so this isn't your regular five meter roll you're getting a lot more so this is the equivalent of kind of or each one of those is the equivalent to six of your regular rolls that you sometimes see here on the chanda 13.99 will get you in the four different thicknesses as you can see there so perfect for all eventualities or all opportunities and there goes the, the super smooth cardstock um, and uh, yeah um, 825810 right we'll just I'll just walk away from that and leave um, Hazel <laughs> just under 10 minutes right then so this time we're going to use two of the 21 by 30s that you get in with the stamp set and I'm going to do one of the card folds that comes on the sheets it's a pop out um, card but it's it, it's got a difference to it so on, on the first piece you're going to do your half fold and then half of that again is seven and a half and you're going to rotate that round so you've got four equal sections and on the second piece we're just going to pop a halfway one so that's okay. 15 centimeters okay so let's just get that board out of the way and then we'll bring in our trimmer which is fell down into my box so for this outside piece, what I need to do is just cut myself a little aperture in the front. So I'm going to pop it in, oops, little bits everywhere, pop the left edge on three and the tool on three and I'm just going to cut three down to 18. And then I'm going to move this left edge up to seven and a half and I'm going to do that same cut again, 18 up to three and then rotate it around and we're just going to cut out between them lines so the left edge on three and you're cutting from three to seven and a half and the same on this one so nice and easy okay so that's going to be our box. outer card <laughs> okay i'm just going to pull this let me show Ooh, you what we're okay. actually going to make. <laughs> oh, wow. Um, so it's a pop-out card, but it's I've put this extra piece in so that when it shuts, oh, and I've I kept see, it yeah. really quite simple. I love monochrome, black and white, but mm -hmm. I thought, do you know what? I'll do the background on the red just to give a different look for you. Okay. So that's the outer card. For the inner one, what we need to do is just cut three lines down here. So the left edge on there again. So we cut three to 18, and then we just got to join it down to that score line. So nice and simple. Three down, it's seven and a half, and then the same on this side. And that is the basis for our card blank. Now you will get those instructions on your sheet. The only bit that you won't get is the cuts. And that's why I, I said the measurements when I did them. Okay. So this bit here folds forward. This one here goes a mountain and this one comes a valley. That gives you that. And then this one will fit oh, clever. inside. 
Okay, so all I've done now, I'm just going to place up to the side. I've gone ahead and I've cut myself some little matten layers in the black and white. Lovely. So this one is going to come in on here. So we'll start off with that. I'll keep that to the side and we're going to bring in our platform. And this time I'm going to use the rose on the stem with the leaves. And I'm also going to be using a little bit of the music note. I, I, I know I'm going to keep forgetting what it is. <laughs> this time I'm going to do it properly and I'm going to position my rose. Oh, bless you. <laughs> and I'm going to just curl it to the right a bit. Okay. Pin that down. And we'll stamp that. And I'm, mm, yeah, I'll go in black. Now I have gone ahead and made myself a mask. So this is where the mask it comes into its own. So I've got one image down. If I then grab my... Now this is quite delicate because I've cut round all of those leaves. If I stick that over, this is going to allow me to now stamp behind this image. So just um, make sure you get everything lined up. Hazel, so you've caused a real stir with this masket sheet. Everybody's been adding it into the basket. It's been very, very busy. What were the updates on that, Emily? Nearly 40% of the stock has well, gone of it. Right. It's one of those very useful Of course it is, yeah. It? yeah. It's just, it's not until you've tried it that you realise, and you're like, wow! Yeah. Where has this been all my Use life? It in so many different <laughs> techniques. So now I've just put this sheet in because I'm going to take off my stamp and I'm going to realign it. So I'm going to pop it up a bit just so it, it kind of makes it a taller image. Got that in position now and then move that out of the way. Take my sheet off. Now I'm just going to give you guys your 10 minute warning with regards to your happy hour deal. We've only got five minutes left on the hour, but your happy hour deal, um, if you want to take advantage of this, now is the time to get it in your basket, but checked out. Because of course, if it's in your basket in 10 minutes time, it will still be there, but it won't be there at the price on your screen. And that's the key thing, get it now, because I know lots of you will have had it in your basket already. It might even be sitting there as we're talking. Please check your basket and then come back and watch the demonstration on Rewind. I don't want you missing out on this okay so what I'm going to do here it's just something a little bit is that gray hazel yes that's gray I don't want gray <laughs> <laughs> I want a bit of black so I'm just going to add a little bit of ink and I am going to be a little bit messy here but I'm going to stamp it off and I am going to just portion it over okay I don't I, I don't mind if I get a little bit on the flowers, okay. if that makes sense. But I'm yeah. just trying to get it around oh, a little like, bit. Almost like a halo around yeah. it. Yeah. Um, that's enough. Lovely. Okay, so from there, what I've done is I've actually got some little bits. So I've stamped it down again, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to curl these, and they're going to decoupage on there to give me some dimension. Clever. So I've done two bits and a little bit of the leaf. So that one's that done. While I've got the platform out, I've got ink all over that look. So in my sections now, I'm going to use the, um, that one. <laughs> <laughs> what oh, is it? It's it. a stem. It's a it stem. stem. And I'm just, just give me a bit of a time check. We've got about two and a half minutes left, oh, Hazel. Oh, that's not enough. Right. I'll do one of these and, and I'll try and move on if that makes sense. So I'm just going to pop a little bit. All I'm doing is making a border. If I just pull this in front so that you can see nice oh, and yes, simply. I, see, yeah. I do want to show you how to do that. Congratulations, because that does take. You think it's um, hard, but it isn't. Okay. So get your congratulations. Put that into the corner mm -hmm. and I've got two centimetres to play with. Okay. I'm going to um, position that centrally, pick it up and then I'm going to, whoopsie, that one. Stamp. Right. Then move it down two oh, centimetres. So and look, this stuck. time I'm going to do the second gen. Okay, move yeah. it down two centimetres so it's quite a quick thing we'll do every other if that makes sense so stamp yeah. full so first and then and second second 
and then you're just going to work your way down so that's how i've done that one and then have i got a minute left now you have yes that's good going oh, isn't gosh, it gosh that's that's you, you could hear the voice in your ears <laughs> so i now want to move to the texture set i'm going to grab myself a block and just show you how quickly these and what i'll do is i'll come back to this one in the eight o'clock show okay and we can kind of show you how it goes together lovely i've just destroyed the set oh this is fabulous <laughs> now this is one of those background stamps again do check out on the website there's loads for you to look at we are down to the last 30 seconds of the hour so um, we're not going to get much further with this particular project but of course as hazel quite rightly said she is back with scott at eight o'clock so the story will continue then if correct that's okay, yeah hazel. I but just wanted to show you how I created the panels, each one. And if I just bring this in, how many seconds now? Probably 10. Oh, about 15. Right, OK. So literally, you'd have one panel, two panel, three Big panel. Bad. I get it. And then that one. I and then it would perfectly. stick in like this. Yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> um, now, 8 o'clock is the time for you to come back. Hazel, thank you for your inspiration, as always. One day special. It's flying.